Now with Triple you get the dashboard and attribution tool inside one overview and is the ultimate founder's dashboard. If you're running an agency, if you're running an e-commerce brand doing six to, to be honest, like nine figures, it covers all elements based on your level where you're currently at. And it caters to everyone, to be honest, running any e-commerce brand. And especially like us, uh, an agency, spending over 1.5 million a month on ads across meta and tiktok managing over 30 clients actively within our agency it's honestly a must-have for all of our clients and we use it daily and in this video i just want to show you a rough live walkthrough of the software and how we're actually using it day to day at our agency managing over like i said 1.5 million in spend across meta and tiktok and also google as well so let's dive into this video right away so here we are in the triple world dashboard i did blur out some of the details of the actual brand name etc to be sure not to reveal anything any numbers so this is the overall dashboard where you come in and enter um you can see all of your metrics and i want to start out uh, like top level uh if you enter triple first what should you do so uh, go to the top right here and um make sure this is like set up how you like it you can change the width etc I like to have everything displayed like this, uh, having four sections, auto, I like this to be very wide so I can see everything right away on a big screen. And make sure this is like all set up, currency, et cetera, manage your section is very important. I like to have my pins at the top so I can pin certain metrics that we need to look at for certain clients. Profitability, custom metrics, pixel, web analytics, um, street robots to rule them all, pay media performance, Shopify, custom rigs, everything you can add in there. Um, you have some other ones, I think, uh, C, you can add your Amazon sales and then all of the other channels that you manage for, uh, for your brand or for your clients. So that's really powerful to add. And then you can just save it and your summary will be your custom own summary. And I like to have some pins, for example, like look at the ROAS, the Etsy ROAS, the revenue, the NCPA, MER, the net profit for this client, the conversion rate, and how much we spend on ads. Also, we have made some custom metrics here. As you can see right here, I will actually show you which ones we've actually made, which is uh, very powerful for us. We have our um, net contribution margin ratio, which is a very important metric to track. This is the exact formula. You take your total sales, uh, minus your COGS, minus your blended ad spend, minus your payment gateways, minus your handling fees, divide them by your total sales and you get your net contribution margin ratio, which is powerful to track if you're really uh, optimizing for bottom line net contribution margin. Overall, there are some other metrics that uh, we have here, custom measuring net profits. Um, I think these are actually super custom, but yeah, um, you can see your pixel data. I will dive into the pixel in just a minute, but just, just the overview that has everything, web analytics, everything there. Uh, obviously, uh, bare basics, uh, let's go to the settings. Um, you can see your store. Uh, you can add your team members right here, which is obviously very powerful. You can see your plan, um, billing orders, port integration. Um, you can connect all of your sources, Facebook, Snapchat, Google Ads, TikTok Ads, Slack, everything beautifully right here. Apps and extension, don't really use that one. Um, cost settings, very important to add all of your cost of goods. They should be automatically imported into shop uh, from Shopify. You can add your shipping rates as well if they're custom uh, or just use your default uh, shipping cost, etc. You can add it even by uh, geographic region. Uh, gateway costs should be directly imported from Shopify. If you have custom expenses like agency fees, etc., you can add them in here as well. And you can see your overall business net profit as well, which is powerful. Your pixel settings, make sure your pixel is set up uh, enabled. Make sure this is all green so everything is installed. Sonar, if you're using it, I think that's their conversions API. Your tracking settings, uh, all their UTMs here. You can see by channel how to add them, Flavio, all the good stuff. But that's far as the settings now. Obviously, you have your summary, your activity feed. Uh, we don't really use it, uh, depending on the plan, of course. Pixel, um, that's where the beautiful stuff comes in. Um, for example, let's look at this brand. We usually use either triple attribution or total impact to measure uh, success. You can use total impact for if you're seeing all of the channels, the total will usually add up. Um, so the total revenue will add up to the actual amount that you're pulling in. And you can see which channels are really uh, pulling forward here. You can see Meta, 
obviously usually top spender for this client in the last 30. Um, Google is doing quite well for this brand as well. And we have some TikTok for more top of funnel, which is usually a bit lower in terms of the overall return on ad spends. So let's just for the sake of this one, use triple attribution. I do have a custom setup. I think right here in terms of columns where basically I like to look at spend ROAS, um, ROAS, new customer purchases, normal purchases from the actual uh, channel. You can compare it to the channel and with the triple pixel, uh, conversion value, new customer conversion value, NC ROAS, which I like to track and optimize based upon that. Uh, profit, uh, you can see is some overlap sessions. New visitors, I think it's very important uh, to see. And I think you can also add your uh, new visitor percent. So you can see how much of a percentage people are actually visiting, like new people visiting your site from your ads. And then you can go into your ads and you can uh, check specifically which campaigns are doing well and optimize based on that as well. One thing that you can also do is uh, pretty uh, pretty cool. Oh, it's already there. You can add your budget. So you can make budget adjustments right into Triple Well instead of like having to switch back and forth between Triple Well and your overall uh, ads manager. Um, you just like to go here, filter by spend, and see which ones are doing well and optimize based on those results. Uh, and you can see also the difference between the normal ROAS and the triple pixel ROAS to uh, evaluate what's actually overall, like what's the source of truth. Obviously, decide a source of truth and go off that. Um, I'm not saying platform attribution is totally uh, whack or total shit. I would definitely recommend to get a conversions uh, API connector like Upstack, uh, leaving a link down below. I think it's very powerful um, to measure your results, not just to rely on a third party, but actually being able to rely on a source of truth in the ads manager and be able to track your sales in there and optimize based on the ads manager if it pushes back data to the ads manager as well. You can track your email and SMS campaigns right here, uh, obviously. Depending if it's set up, it just poops it in the Clavio, organic. Um, you can add any influencers, or like if you have any influencers that are pulling in spend for you and actually generating sales, you can track all of this with like specific discount codes and you can see which influencer is actually converting the best based on their discount codes. If you have Creative Cockpit, you can see everything in here. It's the same as like Atria or Motion. You can see all the data here. Retention, I don't have this for the specific clients, but you can see the specific lifetime values for this. This is super powerful. For example, uh, last 30 days, boom, let's see. You can see the post-purchase survey. You can install it. Uh, it's free for any user on Triple. You can adjust these answers and you can see what's actually helping and the total impact model will actually model these results and attribute them towards the specific campaigns if the normal campaigns didn't catch the overall uh, attribution. So you can see Facebook is obviously the best, Instagram, which are all congruent on the uh, Facebook channel. So they're all added there. You can see the average order value. Also, you can see none of the above. You can see which other reasons people have filled in that they made a purchase because of. And I'm actually going to go to another store. So fast forward here. So back here on another store where we do have the plan for the overall uh, retention metrics, you can see these audience groups, you can see your loyal whales. I'm not sure what that exactly means. A customer who generated most revenue for your store, you can see what the cohorts are. You can see your lifetime value data and you can import those into Meta. Create audience of, you don't really use that too much. You can see a cohort, you can see like, oh, first order was this order value. How many customers came in in which specific month and what's the retention like uh, and what's the overall lifetime value like as well you can see your um, for example this one i guess 1200 customers came in in november 2023 and in month 12 the average lifetime value was 91 dollars, and they spent only 54 so the difference between that is uh, a good lifetime value that you're able to use if you have a good cash flow conversion uh, cycle to be able to use that in terms of your acquisition efforts um so that's powerful um, lifetime value, you can have a better view of your overall lifetime value. EOV, 50, 60 day LTV, 90 day LTV, and you can see specific products as well. But I blurred these to make sure not to reveal any information. You can see your sales cycle, which is powerful. You can see, uh, we don't really use this one, to be honest. So average order value, uh, mean, median, mode, and you can see what happens the most here. And uh, this is good to see. Post-purchase survey that I added as well. 
I want to say like this is the standard. It's not right here, but it's this is a standard question. But what I also recommend to test if you solve like a specific problem, ask them like, why did you decide to make a purchase? What problem are you looking to solve? Lose weight, be more fit, etc. Those are all like uh, questions you can ask post-purchase to be able to inform your marketing messages so they can see like, oh, let's say 30% of people came to us and bought from us because they want to lose weight. Uh, so use that in you know, marketing messages to be able to convert those customers better. Super powerful stuff right there. And also like ask, uh, I have three questions, this one and the one I just discussed, and also what almost made you stop to make a purchase today. It could be price, it could be website, it could be offer, it could be anything else that really helps you take away those objections, whether you use them on your website, on your ads, etc., to be able to inform your overall strategy, to be able to optimize that further. So that's super powerful. Ops right here, product analytics, uh, don't really use that too much product journey you can see which products people bought first and then what did they decide to purchase next so that's uh powerful cart analytics um yeah you can see which which products are um people grouping together in their cart so you can make bundles etc to inform your overall bundle strategy but yeah this is roughly it. it's like what we spend most time with is on the summary on the pixel page to see like how are we doing what's the overall metrics looking like the summary page is really powerful to have like an overview of like how how are we doing what's the overall uh, results like and uh, what do we need to do in order to get to our goals or scale up more etc that's honestly the biggest use case for us for triple well if you're a brand owner doing i would say if you're spending i think they have a free plan as well i'll leave this link down below where you can check out all the different plans but they have a free plan as well it doesn't allow you to add a lot of users though but if you're already spending like more than 200 bucks 500 bucks a day it's honestly worth the investment to get triple will and i think you'll get like a small discount if you use the link below so be sure to check it out but overall that's the overall overview of triple will how we use it how we use it day to day etc um overall walkthrough of the software if you haven't used it before we we'll definitely recommend to check it out even on the free plan it's uh, valuable you get the overall dashboard right here you won't get the pixel um that's on the pay plan but overall the dashboard is super powerful to be able to look at all of your business metrics, look at the business health, how it's doing, etc. That's just super powerful. So that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of it, hit the like button, subscribe below for more value on a weekly basis on this channel. And I'm catching you in the next video.